and start again. Let's let's just start again. It's so much easier that way. Plus you get to sort of see more of it as well because I was rubbish at that starting point there. But no, that's cool. It's all good. It's the sound is back. I think it's because I was having some problem with um, OBS just before we started. So always fun. Um, but yeah, it's all good. So thank you for coming to hang out today. Um, we'll have a little bit of fun hopefully and I'll be terrible as normal. Okay, so we're going to start from the beginning. I'm not going to worry too much about trying to do it in an hour without dying because I know I'm going to die so there's literally no point. So I will just carry on and if we get really lucky, we get really lucky. <laughs> So I love Six, I think she's a really sweet little character, it sort of upsets me a little bit that she's just so like helpless in this scenario. Oh bless you Miss Hetty. <laughs> you can hear me now, that's all that matters. <laughs> that's all that matters. Uh, but yeah I love Six, I'm you know she's really cute and she's sort of cuddly and you want to just protect her from all this horribleness that's going on in this terrible terrible place that you're in um but yeah i'll try and show a few things about this game because it it's really good i really enjoyed it i got stuck at a bit on friday so i sort of stopped the stream and took a break <laughs> i'm glad you're happy <laughs> um and yeah it was good fun but yeah, now where we are. Oh, I don't like this door bit because the janitor is outside. I don't like him. Which I don't understand how the janitor is outside because he's really short. So I don't quite understand how he's there. But never mind. It doesn't matter. Oh, and there's the lovely chap that hung himself. Uh, so obviously on Friday, I stopped streaming during one section. And... Um, yeah, I was having a bit of a struggle fest. Turned out I was just being a moron and I wasn't pressing the button hard enough um, to hold on to something. So, yeah, we're not going to make that mistake now. No, I know what I'm doing because I played through it. <laughs> In fact, I played through quite a lot of this twice now, so this will be my third sort of playthrough. Uh, it's just towards the end that I haven't played again yet. Uh, but I've got all the collectibles, I've got the additional trophies, it's just the. Oh, avoid the leeches. Oh. Ugh! I don't like these leeches, they're horrible. Uh, and it's also this trophy to do it in an hour without dying, which, like I said, I'm not gonna probably do, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I'm just gonna enjoy showing you basically what this is. It's it's such a good game. It's really creepy the first time you... Oh, don't get stuck. Um, it's really creepy the first time you sort of play it. Oh, so now I wonder if I can cheat this. Ah, oh, damn, no, you can't cheat it. I was hoping I could light that lamp, but you can't. Right, ah, oh, run! Run, six, run, 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 run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Don't like the leeches, don't like the leeches. Ugh. they're creepy and horrible uh, but yes this is it's a really cool game I, I think Tarsier Studios have done really well with this it's just really creepy and you just occasionally get these rushes of adrenaline when you have to make six do something especially when she's got to outrun something um, that's that can be pretty intense at times because she is just basically a little girl who's trying to just survive this horrible horrible place run as fast as your little legs can carry you yeah. like I said I'm not going to worry too much about the not dying and trying to finish it in an hour. I don't want to try and do it that quickly because otherwise you miss stuff. But as I've done all the collectibles, you don't need, I'm not going to be able to show you that. But maybe, maybe, maybe 
I'll start another playthrough and I'll try and remember where everything is. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to spend a lot of time in this room again um, just because it's a little bit creepy and there's, you know, there's swings and there's children's toys everywhere and it's a little bit weird. And I did spend a little bit of time in it on Friday so I'm just going to run on through. I'll put my little light on, my little lighter so you can kind of see. You kind of, oh it's just creepy, there's children's toys everywhere. There's a little train track and there's a little train that goes doo -doo, goes all around. Oh, come on. But the, yeah, this place is a prison. So this particular chapter is called the prison for that very reason. So cells everywhere. And although there's no guards, you have got this horrible fucking thing. Oh, shit. That will like disintegrate you so you have to be quick Ooh! I don't like that thing it turns you to ash so quickly it is really good it's it's really enjoyable um, and it does get a little bit tougher I mean if it's quite once you get a puzzle you're like ah oh, yeah I get that now but it is really good it's creepy don't get me wrong it's really creepy Oh god, and then you've got this janitor guy who's just equally creepy. I mean, this is from the guys who do uh, Little Big Planet and Tear Away Unfolded, so you know, this is. This is really dark and creepy and a little bit eerie. Yeah, so basically, the story of this is you're, you're this little girl, six. You are at this stage, you're in an unknown place, um, you just know something's not right about it. Oof. And uh, it doesn't help when the controller sort of vibrates every time that your heart's pounding. Um, this place is called The Moor, um, M-A-W, so you don't really know where this place is at the start of the game, you just know that you're here and you're, you're trying to escape. So that's what we're trying to do, we're trying to get out. Uh, Six has no weaponry, I mean she's got her lighter but that's just to light the way. But she's just trying to get out because later on in the game you sort of find out that this place isn't very nice at all. But I'm not going to try and speed run it too much for you guys, oh yeah. And she gets really hungry um, which slows her down as well because obviously as you can see there's not much to her. Um, so she's sort of, you know, she's a little kid, she's, <laughs> you just gotta look after her, you don't want her to be in this horrible situation, but she seems to be. It ma it's making it really sad, but there's a lot of, I'm guessing, commentary that they're trying to make, either that, you know, I want to think it's based on a Japanese fable or something, it seems that that would be a sort of Japanese story that you would, you would see. And this kid, bless him, this little kid's gonna give us the food so we don't die. But now that kid's gonna go without and that's what's really sad, so. I think there's a lot of commentary throughout the game um, and later on it sort of becomes a bit clearer. Um, so thank you, person. I've gotta run away now. I, I took your food, but I'm leaving now. And I'm not taking you with me. So yeah, you're just basically trying to get through. That's all you want to do. But it's uh, it is really fun, and it is creepy. The first time we play this, if you've, it's not really a horror game, but it's kind of on that cusp of the genre, I suppose. Let's get up here then. Oh crap! Uh, but yes, I I will try and play this more because I really do want that gold trophy. <laughs> So I will try and speed run it properly at some point. Oh, come on then. Why aren't you going up? There we go. Um, and six, you know, she can die. She can get caught and grabbed by the the monsters in the game, if you like. So that that long-armed person that we saw a minute ago, he's he's a monster. 
that you'll see in the next section. I mean, the first time you play this game, you can probably oh shit, oops. Uh, the first time you play this game, you can sort of do it in four to five hours if you can manage to get all the collectibles. And there's a couple of hidden trophies as well. Um, but yeah, the um, it should only take me a couple of hours, if that, to get through this this time because I've already played through it and I've already done all the bits I need to do. Oh, that was close. And once you work a puzzle out, that's it then, you just sort of, you can just go along with it. But there's no, this isn't a game where there's jump scares or anything, there's sort of chase sequences that are a bit, ah! And she's just so little. I just love how she cups the the lighter to make sure the light doesn't go out. I just think that's really cute. <laughs> Off you go. I'm still not keen on the fact that there are nooses and people hanging and stuff. That's not very nice. This is just a dark and horrible place. Get ready to run again because there's leeches. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Don't want to get caught by them. Ah! They're not very nice at all. Oh, right, I don't want to do this bit again. <gasps> oh shit. Oh, oh, missed it. Damn. And there's a couple of different ways you can do this room, but I'd probably say this is the sort of best way. Oh shit. Carol. <gasps> Oof. Okay, I've got to run without falling off. Eee. And there's the little gnomes, your little friends. There we go. And that's chapter one. So that's the prison. Uh, without, obviously, collectibles and stuff. So you can take a little bit more time doing those if you want to. Um, like I say, I'm not going to try and finish this off too quickly because I want to show people what's going on. Plus, I'm going to die a lot and get caught and stuff. So <laughs> I'm realistic in my approach. <laughs> uh, but yeah. It is really fun, and I do hope that we see more games like this. This sort of goes in with the smaller indie titles that you may have seen before. Let's have a little look at this. The only thing about this game that you have to be a bit careful of is like the running. We're not going to go in that room because I don't need to. <gasps> and like that, you just fall off because the 3D. So there goes my trying to finish this in an hour. <laughs> it's gone now. The hopes and dreams are dashed. <laughs> but it's silly mistakes like that that can, can cost you the run through. So I suppose actually I will show you this room because now I've died I don't need to worry about trying to get through. So in this room oh. There's a very small puzzle, so you've got a lamp up there that you can light. Uh, but then if you drag this chair... Oh, 
It opens a secret way. A secret door. Oh. And in here is a creepy room. A creepy room with a button that shows you different rooms within the moor. So you got babies, there's little gnomes there, they're your little mates. Got the kitchen there, the chef, and then you've got this unknown room. But there's somebody there with a mirror, so that's pretty freaky. They're like, okay. Sort of shows you what you've got to come, I suppose. Random yawn. Sorry, that came out of nowhere. Oh, there we go. So now I'm going to try not to fall off the stairs again. So this is when we start to encounter the janitor again, and this is the lair. So these little buggers. So first puzzle. Not puzzle, but way to move forward, I suppose. Problem is when you do stuff you suddenly hear all these noises. And they're not very nice noises. You're like, oh, gonna die, something's gonna come and get me. And there's a janitor. Ooh, key. But even keys are like massive to this girl. Oh, let me pick it up. Oh, why won't you let me pick it up? There we go. There we go. But everything for this little person is such an effort. for the follow. How are you? What you doing? What are you up to, Jen? said that you guys managed to watch a little bit of the stream on Friday so I hope you enjoyed what you saw. I'm actually hoping to play through the whole thing but I've, I've got all the collectibles and I've done the other trophies. I died already so I can't do the go for the gold trophy of the doing it now without dying. So that's that's off the table now but hey ho, do it another day. Oh, she's so hungry. <laughs> Oh, it's all good, lovey. I always don't realise if I'm actually following people. I always assume that I have done, so it's all good. Don't worry. <laughs> there is no problemo. Oh, creepy music is creepy. I need this meat. I need the meat. Meat, meat, meat. Let me eat it. Yeah, food. I do love the creepiness of this game. Oh, and spindly hand. <laughs> so here we are. We're in the lair. Oh, it's just the spindly fingers. 
I might start doing things by just... <laughs> it's just really creepy. This is the only bit that makes me a little bit sad, is that I'm going to use this person. Ah, uh, Jen, well you got, you guys have got a PS4, haven't you? So you can borrow my copy if you want, because I've, apart from the trophy, I, I literally have played it and completed it. So it's, oh, yeah, I've got this one. So you, you're more than welcome to borrow it. One more swing. Oh, quick. Oh, 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 that was close. Oh, no. Oh, uh, it is really good, though. Uh, it, I think the first time you play it, because of sort of the soundscapes and the sort of creepy darkness to it all, it is really creepy. Um, and then once you've played through it once, you're sort of like, right, okay, I can do this now. Ah, uh, it's that XG, is it? I well, know you're more than welcome to borrow it if you would like. If not, it's it's sixteen pounds this game, so you know it's it's not like it's expensive. Oh shit, he's gonna get me! Shit, 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 shit! Oh, I got stuck! Damn it! Bollocks! <laughs> ah, but you know, it's um. Oh, I tried to be sneaky and it didn't work. I don't know why I'm rushing it. There's no point rushing it because I can't get the trophy now anyway. Um, but yeah, if you want to borrow it, you're welcome. It's it's so good. I mean, I've got the six edition with the little six statue, and that's that was like thirty pounds. But <coughs> yeah. Oh shit, he's gonna get me. No, he's gonna get me. Shit. Oh, it's horrible. Is he going away? Please go away. <laughs> I've not him do that before. So this one's this one's not too bad because you will get it done in sort of four to five hours. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, six, 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 go, 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 there's the shoes. Oh, off center. Got him. Up you go. There we go. But it is really creepy, and I love it. It's one that makes you shudder. It's not one that actually scares you. It just sort of makes you go, no, 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 just run, just run, please run. You can run. Oh god, this bit. Uh, so this isn't cool. This is, it's just a shoe monster. <laughs> it's just not very nice at all. Oh, oh god, I'm totally getting caught this time. I can't see where the suitcase is. Oh, it's there. Yeah, that's, that's horrible. Yeah, I think the, the shoes, the shoes, the shoes. Um... I don't know if the shoes are meant to be of all the children that are in the prison um, beforehand, or whether the shoes are to do something else entirely um, later on that you'll see. Oh god, he's here, he's here. Oh, he's coming, he's coming! Run! Run! I'm in, I'm in, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. 
head, it's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, the shoes are everywhere. There's suitcases, there's shoes, there's clothes. I don't really know. I think it's it's got something to do with the, the things that go on in this place. Um, but basically, this is all a prelude to what Six is going to see later in the game, um, in Chapter 4. So, at the moment, she's been to her prison, she's seen all the children that are in there, and then, obviously, this janitor guy, he's just... he's just here, sort of in the way. Um, but, I mean, I said in my review that I just felt like... I wasn't sure whether this is meant to be, like, some... Japanese folk tale that it's based on or whether it's meant to be some sort of commentary on social greed or the things we do to children corrupting the youth or something or I don't know and then obviously that that is a massive for me connotation to the Holocaust um, I just find that a little bit freaky It took me ages to get past this bit. It took me absolutely freaking ages when I first played this bit. I just couldn't work out how to get past him there and then I realised you could sneak behind the toys. Oh, his spindly hands are just so horrible. hear him moving around it's just horrible <gasps> he's just horrible okay so there is a way to get a trophy in this next room I think you just have to do this bit without getting caught in two sort of chimes of the the clocks Because he can't see you. Ah. And you just gotta get ready to run. Because he's coming. So yeah, you can get, it's called elusive, and it, I think it's, I got it during that bit. There's some other bit where somebody said that you can get it in an area later on by covering yourself in suds. Um, if you run back and forward on this a few times, you'll get Six's Song is another trophy. Uh, so those are some hidden ones, if you're interested. Oh, creepy man. Uh, so yes. So this next bit is actually where I kind of got stuck <laughs> before um, and then I stopped the stream but bearing in mind that at this point I'd been streaming for like two hours anyway. A sneaky sneaky round. Up she goes. Up she goes. Avoid the things on the shelves or attention will be drawn to you. Oh. 
he was right by the door before, so I don't know why it's taking so long to come in. But yeah, you can light all the candles as well, so if you see candles and lamps you should light them because um, they serve as like mini checkpoints but also collectibles so you can light all the lights and get a trophy for it. Okay. He's coming! Time to dawdle. There we go. Oh, isn't this the bit where I've got to run? Yep. No, it's not. No, it's not. Next bit. I need to. Cr oh, I panicked then. I was like, oh, I've got to do the running and it's going to be horrible. <laughs> no, not quite there yet. Stand on that. Oh shit, that's gone too far. Oh bollocks. <laughs> Please roll back this way. Okay, I got lucky then. I got really lucky then. <laughs> Unintentional. No, I've got to do that bit again. <laughs> Note to self don't do that again. <laughs> uh, so let's push that there and then go up. There we go. Handy. A bit more. Oh, she's just so little. Oh, no, you don't. So, this perpetual rocking motion sort of suggests that you're on the water, maybe. on a ship maybe or a boat oh, where is this horrible bit where I have to is it this bit oh no no it's the next one okay that's fine Once I get out of here, I have to run though. Yes, yes, I do. Okay, run. Because it's coming. Oh, God, God, go, go, go. Okay. Okay, so this is like a mini boss fight, really. anymore. <laughs> I 
And you've escaped the lair. Ooh. Okay. So that's essentially chapter two of the game, as it were. <coughs> I think I need another soother because my throat is sore. Maybe more lem sip as well. So I, I do really like this game though. I think it's I think it's a really I don't want to say nice game, I think it's just a really enjoyable game, even though it's got that creepy vibe to it the entire way through. It is really cool. I love the art style of it. Um, obviously the 3D side to it, it can be a little bit deceptive at times because I've fallen off the level so many times previously. Need a meat hook. So yeah, if you're running along you can suddenly just fall off because you think it's bigger than it, wider than it is. So now we're coming into the kitchens. Oh, Six is hungry again. Well, you know what it means when there's rat traps. And there is a rat in a trap. Little six. But yeah, there's little hidden areas in this as well. So if you are get, wanting to get all the completion stuff, there's hidden areas with little gnomes to hug, and like there's one under here. Um, actually, I'll, I will show you this one thing as. There. So you drop down, and on the table there's a statue, and you throw the statue. Oh, what is that? Ugh. But yeah, you can break that statue, and that counts towards your collectibles. It's pretty cool. Right, so we're entering the kitchens. Can I? Damn it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> so there is another hidden trophy in this room as well. Um, where you take two vegetables in that room and you have to take them all the way through the pantry and throw them in a pot. Uh, and there's also a fish head under a table as well. Oh. So if you've played a demo of this previously as well, you may have played the demo which is in this area, but they've changed it which was really cool. I was actually really excited by that when um oh
when I sort of played this area, I think, no, I know what's going to happen here, but I didn't because they changed it. So I was very appreciative of them for doing that. Don't come back this way. See me? He's gonna see me. He's totally gonna see me. Shit! I'm fucked. I'm fucked. No! Oh, that's horrible. Where is he going? I tried to be too quick. <laughs> Can't get me under here. Well, I don't understand why this is this is so reactive to me. Oh, a fine specimen of a man. It's okay though, because he can't get me. No, I swear I mustn't fall off the, the ledge. Which I have done before and it just kills you instantly. Oh, no! Shot. No, oh. what I just said. <laughs> okay, well I've got I've got to get the uh, I've got to get the key for the door. Just happens to be in here. Okay, I made it up to the top. <laughs> okay. Down we go. It's when you sort of assume that he's not there anymore. <laughs> At least you hope he's not there anymore. Because now you're carrying a big ass key. Not a big ass key, but a big ass key. And now to sneak around the kitchen with the key.
this is pretty much the bit when I tried to make up the the like meal. <laughs> so I was trying to get the vegetables and the fish head. Oh, where's it going? What's he doing? Where is he going? No! No, you can't see me! Can't see me! Oh, it's horrible! Ah oh, shit, I probably could have gone further. Oh well. You can't see me. I really need to get to the door. He's all the way over there. I'll be fine. I fell over the sausage. <laughs> it's fine. I got this. Nope, nothing in there yet. So even this bit's slightly different as well, which is quite cool. Because before you got up in the lift, and now you go up in the hatch. Ting! Bet she's probably like secretly. This is making her really hungry. Can I not go in there? Oh, I did come in here before. That's fine then. I, I thought I missed a room or something, but I haven't. Oh yeah, it's all about the meat. Oh. There we go. Down the hatch. Thing is, you don't know what this meat's for, that's the thing. You don't know if they're people. They look like people. Or at least they look like people to me, so. <laughs> Make some sausages. So what sausages you getting? Now after this I can't really remember what happens, <laughs> if I'm honest. in this next room. Oh, okay. I remember. Sort of. So, we can't do that. So, we get call the lift. And then fucking leg it. Because there's actually a chef in there. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, creepy, creepy, creepy person. But he loves cheese. Ugh. Oh, 
I'm a getting in this lift. Ha ha ha. But then I'm gonna get in here. Oh god again! There we go. Because I know he's coming back up. <laughs> In this game, you basically learn to hide. <laughs> oh. Wonder what he's actually making it for. Oh, that's gross. again so I've got to be really quick. <sighs> oh god this has got me so quick. That's when I don't like the game. <laughs> stuff like that. Uh -uh. So what you would normally do is go that way and get some stuff up there. But I'm not going to do that. needs to go away. <laughs> I'm going to regret doing that. Give it a second. Oh. Off you go, go on. Go on. I'm here.
Wait for that one to go over there. Oh, God, I timed it poorly. <laughs> me it's like no you can't catch me I think I'm getting ready for the end run now so I've got to be I've got to be quick run oh god he's coming Oh shit, I missed it. You have to ah bollocks. See what I mean? You can't really see that there's anything there to grab onto. That's the only slight problem with the game. But other than that, it's really good. <laughs> shit. <gasps> Ow. Oh, I can't run. He's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. Ah, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Damn it. I stepped on some broken stuff and it hurt my feet. Run. Don't stand on the broken plate. Note to self. There we go, got it. I'm good. I'm away. And out of the kitchen. <laughs> no more kitchen. made it out. See, so I've been streaming for about an hour and I've died many times. So I, I think if you can finish this game in an hour without any deaths, then I tip my hat to you. So this, this is when we start to learn a little bit more about where we actually are. So this is sort of where you see, oh shit, where you sort of see, um, that we might actually not be on land and that we're definitely on sea. also where you learn that this is a horrible horrible place um, because oh shit because I died and fell in the water um, because there's these really fat people and they're all getting onto this what looks to be ship they're all docking you know they've docked they're here And it's just a case of now trying to work out why the chuff you're here in the first place. And what is this place? Why is this place here? And it's just really freaky. <laughs> The seagulls are like the same size as six. That's how little she is. And the reason I sort of 
uh, wondered whether this might be some sort of Japanese tale or fable is because if you look at their faces they all well some of them look like they're wearing masks I don't know if that's meant to be for some sort of anonymity or or whether that's just you know the fact that they're so greedy that their faces have just become permanently fixed in a horrible mask-like form Excuse me. I don't want to be too deep, but I think that's what it feels like to me anyway. So we know we're on some sort of boat or thing that's like a boat. All these fat people. And then there's the lady. The lady who runs it all. food. So now we know what the kitchen staff do. person. Oh no! Oh, I don't mean to do that! No, no! Oh, she's going to eat me. Ah, oh, damn it. I can't remember what I have to do there. I think I just have to run and jump, I think. So yeah, these really fat people are customers. So this leads me to naturally assume that we, uh, that these people are eating people, that they're eating children. that's what I think it is anyway that's what it seems to be yeah it is a bit like spirited away isn't it oh, oh. it is very reminiscent of that isn't it so there is a little room to the right that you can go to there first before you have to do this little oh, negotiate with the fat people. Ah! Oh god. So yeah, there's there's a little secret room with I think a statue and another gnome in it. Okay. Oh, he's 
coming. Fatty's coming. Oh, it's so horrible. Oh. oh, shit. He knows I'm about. It's like, I'm gonna get ya. Gonna get ya. Oh. Creepy as fuck. Oh, no, leave that. There we go. So that's weird because that suggests that there's somebody in that room watching people poo. At least that's what I take away from that image of that mirror shattering and there actually being a room behind it. Yep, I'm gonna take that to mean that they're eating people. It's gross. I think this is a bit where I have to run. Yep. And here comes the hunger again. Oh, poor little six. She just can't. She just can't get away. And there's the more. So that must be where we are. Is in that background tableau thing. That that thing. I'd be really interested if this is actually based on sort of a Japanese folk story or urban legend or some weird thing that was concocted by somebody. Oh, a little gnome look. Oh, he's got me a sausage. Nope. I only eat live meat now. So that's the kind of depressing thing about this, is that while Six tries to be sort of the light in the darkness of this horrible place, the, the darkness has kind of consumed her a little bit. And there goes the lady. Right there, lady, because you and me were going to get well acquainted. And there we go, that's the guest area. So now we're on to the last bit. So I, I can, yeah, it's totally, this game is doable in an hour. It is definitely doable in an hour, without dying. I suppose that's the next thing, isn't it? Okay. So if you, you don't want to know the ending, now would be a good time to go. <laughs> 
but if you don't mind knowing what happens in the end, then that's fine. <laughs> Guess we need to go into that room, but it needs a key. Up she goes. Yay, creepy music. Smash mirrors, good luck. See, she's got all the pictures covered up, except this one. So I'm wondering whether this picture here and that picture up there are meant to be six. Music stopped. And the lady is gone. Oh. Where did she go? <gasps> So yeah, kind of wondering whether Six is meant to be her daughter or something obviously related to her. Because oh. she's got all the pictures of her sort of covered up. are broken. Oh shit. Oh I forgot that does that. Fuck. Run. Grab this mirror. Oh. Only one mirror in the whole place. And I got it. There she is. This is like the boss fight. Just trying to remember what direction she's coming from. <laughs> Give me. 
last one. She's all okay. I'm so hungry. dark. So you kind of got to wonder, is there a reason why Six is in this place in the first place? <laughs> I'm starting to wonder whether maybe Six is actually secretly evil and that's why the lady put her away and couldn't bear to look at her. It's because secretly she is evil. Or is she really good? I don't know. Either way, it's creepy as shit. So, I've just let her out, <laughs> and she's just killed all those people. <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> I can't help it, I truly really like it. The little gnomes, look at them. You could go too. I like how they're just readjusting their hats. There you go, that's that's little nightmares. That's that's the game. I appreciate that I did play through that very quickly. Um, it does make me think that the hour is achievable without as long as you don't die and you manage to do everything. You basically run through everything. But yeah, just little nightmares. It's really good, really enjoyable, really creepy, and a little bit dark towards the end, but it is a really good game. So that's that's little nightmares. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching me 
kill six lots of time and go because that's pretty much what I do. Um, but yeah, that's that's little nightmares for you. Now, just got to work out what I'm going to do for a little while. <laughs> um, but yeah, any questions? Any comments? Any anything about it? It's um, feel free to ask away. I'm a little bit sad that I've kind of finished it so quickly. Um, because although it's a short game, you sort of think that you might play things for a little bit longer. The other one I'm sort of playing a bit is Turing Test. Um, and that's sort of in chapters and little mini puzzles. So it's about the same length as roughly this. Um, if you play it start to finish. Um, but that's been quite enjoyable as well. But, um, yeah, I, won't, I won't go through the... Um, oh, I have to go through the credits. Oh! Fresh air. Yeah, there are lots of secret areas as well, so what makes it the extra sort of three to four hours long, obviously the first time you play it, is finding the statues, uh, finding the gnomes to hug, so you'll need to kind of revisit areas as you're, you kind of go into an area, you'll see the little guys scurry out, so you'll have to search for them because um, they'll still be around. You've got the statues to get and then the lights, the lanterns and the candles to light as well uh, for collectibles. If, you, if you're an achievement hunter um, slash trophy hunter then that's that's what you'll need to do. Um, there's not, in terms of storytelling, there's not loads of areas for that but there is for collectibles um, and those hidden trophies as well. So you've got the elusive one where I got it sneaking past the janitor with two clock chimes um, I managed to do that and it popped up um, what else is there oh yeah the key uh, the keys on the piano just running up and down that a couple of times oh jumping on beds the mattresses right at the start if you jump up and down on that a few times you'll get a trophy pop I did it by accident um, and the other hidden trophy is making uh, the kitchen hand one so you need to grab two vegetables and the fish head and the big pot in front of the fire if you chuck them in that uh, obviously without the chef seeing you then you get the kitchen hand one as well um, so there's some little achievements there if you want to try and get your 100% completion type thing but yeah the last one is just doing it in an hour without dying <laughs> But that was about an hour and 20 minutes to do that um, and I died quite a few times so you could definitely cut that down and also there were some bits where I was walking when I could have been running so it's doable, it's definitely doable and whether I do it in a stream or not is a different matter, I might just do it one evening. Uh, excuse me. Oh. Um, but yeah. It is really good. I've got the soundtrack as well and uh, the little comic strip because it actually came. Let me uh, let me grab the bits. Two secs. Oh, I can break that. Brilliant. Turned out I was caught on wires. I don't need the headset for a second. Um, so I got the 6th edition, so it comes in a cool box, and I've got a little 6, so she's nice and creepy. <laughs> and when she's in there she just looks like she's trapped, so that's kind of cool. So I'll just put her down there so she doesn't get broken, seeing as I appear to be breaking everything now. And then in the box obviously you get the game, which I've put somewhere. And you get a comic strip and some stickers. Yes, the comic strip. So there's some stickers, so I want to freak people out. Put some stickers places. Um, but yeah, it comes with a little comic strip, so I think I'm gonna have a little look through that at some point because that looks quite cool. Um, 
I just, I really want to know where they got the the inspiration for for it from. But this is just sort of the, this is an issue of it, I think. But it's a mini comic book series as well that they're making from it. Um, but yeah, that's oh yeah, the soundtrack which is hiding. Be quite interested to actually have a listen to it and see if it gives me the shivers that the game sort of did. Um, because it is, it does get you a bit tense when you've suddenly got to run when it's suddenly there. It's, it's really good though. I think that's why it's when it's, I think that's when games are more enjoyable when you're sort of like, oh, it's not really a horror game, and then I'll suddenly go, oh, yeah, that's not very nice. <laughs> because I'm really terrible with horror games as we know, seeing as I've never finished Outlast and I've never finished Alien, or even got really started on Alien Isolation. I have to have other people play with me <laughs> because I'm such a big boss. Um, but yeah, it's really, it's really good. I did really enjoy this game. And I think that it's, I know a couple of people have sort of complained about the fact that it's it's only four or five hours long and that you can complete it in like an hour if you want to but I don't say that's necessarily a bad thing what happened to my hair oh it's possibly all over the place because I had uh, my headset on <laughs> yeah my hair's probably going a bit mental now um, it, it's growing too fast I need to get rid of it I need to cut it all off again but I just love how creepy six is with her little lighter can't see her face. She's just a bit weird. I, I love her. She's great. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, definitely a good little game. Highly recommended. Um, the music's really bloody creepy as well, and I can't skip it. <laughs> so I have to sit through it. <laughs> what it is. I, I think it's about the right length, really. I mean, and you're only, if you're only paying £16 for it, I th don't think that's necessarily a bad bad thing. Um, if it's going to be a smaller game, because it is uh, an indie tile game, so that's what we love. I, I don't know what I'm going to do now. I was tempted to do something like Turing Test, maybe, because I am playing that at the moment. Um, that would be quite cool, just to kill a little bit of time, because I'm a couple of chapters in that already, but... The puzzles are starting to get a bit harder now, and I'm I'm terrible at puzzle games normally, so it'd be uh, quite cool to see what comes next. Um, I don't know where the Turing test is like a thriller. I don't know because they're talking about some sort of alien life form at the bit bit I've just got to. So yeah, I don't know. Let's um put six over there so she's nice and safe. Uh, but yeah, that's that's that. So let's. Let's get out of this. Will not let me. Oh yeah. yeah. That's the thing, because I don't know. She's she's out there now. She's got out of it. And it's like thank you for playing. But where does she go now? There's no boats. There's nowhere for her to go. <laughs> it's it's concerning. 